we're getting the outermost bands of Hurricane Ida right now. And um, I just uh, pray for the people in Louisiana and Mississippi that they, uh, they weather this storm. But that's not what this video is about. I want to do a quick little video. I picked up this uh, USMC uh, assault pack the other day. And it was missing one of the um, pulls on the zipper. And, th and this right here is the, the, this is not the one that was missing. This is, this is how it came. This is the kind of pull it came with. But it was missing one. So I thought, well, if I'm going to fix one, let's fix them all. So I thought I'd share with you how I fixed it. And um, so this is my final, my fix. This is the original. This is the fix. And I'm just going to show you real briefly what I do. So I have here the makings to do two more of these uh, pull tabs like this. And what this piece is here is just a little piece of plastic dowel. Actually, this <laughs> this is the dowel uh, from the inside of a, uh, a package of those bags you get for picking up your dog's poop. Uh, <laughs> this was the dowel inside, and when, when I saw this, I, I put it I put it away and thought that might be good for something one day. So what I did is I took it and I cut it into thirds uh, with a saw on my Leatherman, and this is the original um, pull tab. Um, cord and it's a really good cord however it's kind of short I would love to have some more cord like this it, this is not paracord this is this is a much uh, uh, denser um, cord I'd love to get some of that and this is just you know issue paracord and what I've done is I went ahead and I've let me get the camera on there I've gone ahead and um, heated the ends and I have discovered that this little um, uh, propane torch does a better job of heating paracord ends than a regular lighter. I just stumbled on that. I couldn't find a lighter one day so I grabbed this little thing and it just does a, a better job because I can control it better and I can get that hard kind of baked end that you really want rather than just a burnt melted glob which is so easy to get with a lighter. So anyway, what I do is I just thread the um, cord through the through the um, um, hole here on the, you know where the tab should go, and then I thread it through this little doodad and I pull it tight. So I'll see if I can't show you that process, that very detailed process. So as I said, just run it through the um, zipper pull and these are wonderful heavy duty military YKK zippers I assume they're YKK um, surely they are so you pull it through and then you put the uh, the dowel rod on now I'll tell you what works really good and I've seen this used by uh, by the military is getting some automotive um, hose getting the right the right size of automotive hose it'd be you want to get about that size and it makes a great heavy duty pull but I didn't have any laying around and this will work just as good so then you tie the knot and you want to try to make sure that you don't cross your cords so you have a nice uh, even kind of knot and it doesn't get all catawampus and then here's Here's the secret to it. Then you grab the knot and you pull it with your pliers so that you can get it really nice and tight. And once you have that done, go back and look at your burned ends and make sure that um, they're still good because when you pull it with the, with the pliers, you might kind of mess them up. So I always try to go back in and do a little more melting to make sure those burned ends are good to go. And then you got a good heavy duty pull and it should last you the life of your pack.